cue ball physics. Okay, I'm gonna walk you through and teach you guys how this cue ball works against the object balls, all right? And how to predict where the cue ball's going, all right? By using the stun shot, all right? The stun shot, I'm gonna show you the basics of it first, of what it is and explain to you what it is, all right? It's when you hit just below center on the cue ball and it's got a little bit of backspin on it. By the time it gets to the object ball, the spin is almost worn right out and it will just have enough just to grab where the object ball is and pull the cue ball up where the object ball is, all right? And then when you play it down on an angled shot, it will go down the tangent line instead of pulling up where the object ball is. I'm gonna show you the both scenarios so you can learn to predict where the cue ball's going, which I'll get into that into the next shot. But let's play the stun shot first and show you what it is. Aim just below center. And then when you pot it, you should pull the cue ball up exactly where the object ball is. So just below center, don't have to hit it hard. And as you can see, pull up where the cue ball is. Okay. The next one is when you've got angle like this. Now, to pot this ball playing the stun shot, it will go to the side and then bounce straight back out instead of pulling up where the object ball is. So now it will go on the 90 degree angle. So this is how you can predict where the cue ball is going down the tangent line because by the time it gets to the object ball, it's only gonna skid, so it's gonna go along the tangent line. So if the ball's skidding, it will go down that 90 degree angle. So I'm gonna aim just below center again. And as you can see, this hits the cushion, comes straight back out, and you got a nice shot on the way. All right, so, Another shot, so if I'm like this, now I've got angle like that, play a little stun shot, and I will go straight down that tangent line like that, okay? Because it's a stun shot, it's skidding, it will go down that 90 degree angle like that. So this is what happens, just below center from the cue ball, you'll see it go straight down that line, Okay, and straight back, and you've got a nice shot of the black again. All right, so that's the stun shot. Okay, the next shot is the stun screw shot. All right, the stun screw shot is when you put not backspin on the ball, a lot of backspin, hitting right down the bottom. You want to hit just a little bit higher. All right, so the backspin wears out once it hits the object ball, and it just has just enough to grab still and come back just that little bit. So not right down the bottom, just a little bit higher. That's a stun screw shot. So we want to come back just a few inches. It's the best way to play it. If you try and to come back just a few inches and again, and you hit right down the bottom, it's probably the hardest way to play it. Learn to play the stun screw shot, what I'm about to show you. You can punch these shots in, hit them with more confidence, knowing they're only going to come back a few inches. So this is the best way to play it. As you can see, just come back a few inches and you've got your nice shot at the black ball, all right? I'll show you another one. Don't ever, as I said, don't ever try and play these hitting the cue ball low, all right? Just aim that a little bit higher. Nice little stun screw shot. Keep control of the cue ball. That's the key to the game. How easy I controlled that to just come back just a couple of inches. All right, so that's the stun screw shot. Okay, so now the stun shot, as we know, takes you down there. Now the stun screw shot on an angle will take you that way. All right, so now you can go around behind the black for the black back into there if you wanted to. So by playing the stun screw shot. So here we go. And you can come around nicely on this side for a shot at the black if you needed to. So 
that's how you predict it. Stun shot down there, that way. And then the stun screw will take you on that angle. All right, so very handy to know. The next shot, okay, to get on the black ball here where you've got your hand on the table nicely. All right, a lot of people play this shot wrong. They play top spin, just try and pot it. All right, to come around like that. Wrong way to play it, because if you play it top spin, you're gonna land really close to the side cushion, all right? You wanna learn to play it, just touch it right hand side, so when it hits there, hits here, and bounces out, and you've got your hand on the table for the nice, easy black. So you don't have to hit this shot hard, just roll it in. A little bit of right hand side, only just. As you can see, you come out away from the table, and now I can get my hand on the table nicely and knock the black in. All right, so that's the key to playing those shots. Don't just play top spin, you'll land right on the cushion. Play it just a little bit of side, bounce out, and you got a nice shot onto the black. Okay, I'll show you again. All right, so here we are again. Just a touch of right hand side. And around you come and you've got your hand on the table again. Okay, I'm now going to teach you a check side shot on this type of shot to get onto the black. So top spin will take you to the side cushion. Running side will take you off two cushions. Now I'm going to teach you left hand side, which is check side. And what happens, instead of it hitting the cushion and going that way, it will straighten up, check side, like that, and you'll be on the black like that. So left hand side, now when you're playing with side on this type of shot, all right, where the ghost ball is, you need to aim a little bit more to the right, all right, because the cue ball is going to swing, because you're putting left hand side, that little curve shot. So remember to aim just that little bit thinner, allow for the side. So here we go. And as you can see, the cue ball, when it hit, it straightened up nicely and look, got a very easy shot at the black. Okay, this shot, I'm gonna show you a drag shot with right hand side. Okay, running side, it's gonna go one, two, out in the open nicely for the black, all right? Now, when you're playing a drag shot with right hand side, remember, because you're playing with right hand side, the cue ball is going to go from left to right. So you need to aim a bit thicker on the object ball. All right, so where the ghost ball is, all right, don't aim there, aim a little bit more fuller, all right, because it's going to swing from left to right. All right, so aim low, right hand side. come around nicely for the black like that just off two cushions see how the side did the work around like that got a hand on the table we've got a nice easy black is the drag shot now these come handy you got a little bit of angle on a ball like this and you want the black ball you want to hold for the black ball like that okay and you like that just a little bit of angle now if you play that playing ball top spin all right you'll hit there and you'll probably bounce up to here and you can still put the black from there but it's a lot harder isn't it all right so you want to take the pace out of the cue ball so hitting very low on the cue ball it will be back spin for halfway down to the shot and then by the time it gets to about here it'll start rolling forward and that takes the pace out of the cue ball and once it hits the object ball it will hold nicely for the black in the corner. So I'll show you how it's done. All right, always make sure you chalk your cue before you play these shots, all right? So just, just low on the cue ball. Don't have to hit it hard, just cue through the ball. So nice and low. So as you can see, it spun backwards. Once it got to about here, then it went forwards. It took the pace out of the cue ball and I'm able to hold nicely for the black and have a nice easy shot on the black ball. All right, so remember when you're playing these type of shots, okay, 
it's just push the cue through gently. You don't have to hit it that hard, all right, to get the back spin and then get the, the drag. So again, as you can see, it's got a lot of angles. So if I play out the top spin, I'm gonna lose it up here. Low on the cue ball is the key. So Okay, and you hold nicely for the black every time playing the drag shot. Okay, the most easiest shot of all time where you're just playing top spin. Okay, just roll the ball in because you want to go through a little bit. So hit high on the cue ball. And you'll run through nicely, have a nice shot of the black. Now there's another way you can play that shot. Okay, now I'm going to teach you a stun run through shot. When you pop the ball and you want the cue ball to go just a few inches past the object ball, pretty much like a stun screw back where you want it to come back just a little bit, this time we're going forward. So not top spin, just below top spin. You can punch it in a couple of inches and you're on the block. Okay, just like that, as you can see, potted the ball and it went through just that couple of inches. Got a nice shot at the black and that's how you play the stun run through shot. Okay, last but least, the screw shot. One of the most important shots in the game. All right, I'm gonna show you how to pop this ball and get back spin, screw back, to get back down this end of the table for the black into the corner pocket, all right? Now the key to playing these shots, keep the cue nice and low parallel to the table. Not up near like that, hit down low on the cue ball, that's not the way to do it. No justice doing that. Do it like that, there's justice there, all right? So, the trick is, hit the ball, lead the cue forward. Don't hit and pull your cue back. Nice loose grip too, all right? So, as you can see, nice and parallel to the table, nice and low and level. Leave the cue forward. Got a nice shot at the black. All right, so that's how you do it. All right, guys, if you want to see more, click the video above. That'll teach you how to run some racks.